All right, hello and welcome to the next next hour. So today, um, well, by the way, let's mention it first. Uh, if you have a suggestion for next hour, you can open an issue in the tweak next hour repository, and then we can maybe take a look at that at some point. And yeah, so a previous issue here mentioned that it might be good to show off some uh, community projects, and we looked a bit through it and uh, was, we're thinking of which topic to pick. And so we thought next index would be good to kind of focus on a bit more. And there's also comma as another project related to that. And so yeah, let's take a look at that today. I have here a VM open so we can have a fresh start. And this time it already builds, unlike last time. So, um, what is command not found? Maybe let's start first. And actually, I might need to do some uh, bash manual reading because I think that comes from there. Uh, maybe not. Maybe let me read that one line first. Uh, but it's basically a way to make sure that if you run a command, so let's say hello, that it gives you a better message than this one. And um, is it a bash thing? I know it. Seashell has something like that. Maybe let's briefly check. Uh, well, actually, Seashell all I think has everything. Command not found. Command not found. Oh, here. Command not found handler. Uh, so I guess maybe it's also lowercase in bash. Command not found. Oh yeah, it's also lowercase in bash. Uh, yeah. So uh, maybe I mean let's let's try it out here. This is a this is seashell, um, or I guess we can also check with echo zero. Yeah, so this is seashell. Um, so what if we do, oh, let's really briefly read the man page. What, what we can do, command not found. Um, if no external, external command is found, but a function command not found handler exists, the shell executes this function with all command line arguments. All right, so we can do this. We can say command not found handler, and here we can say echo uh, the command, and then I believe this would be cons, uh, zero is uh, does not exist. All right, now if we do hello, we get this message instead. All right, so I mean this is very basic, but if you have a database that gives you uh, a mapping from binary names to packages in Nix, you can use this for to kind of do some more fancy fancy things. And the kind of most built-in way for this is the uh, well, there is a Nixos option, so maybe let's uh, check this out. Command not found. Oh, command not found underscore. No. Um, command not. Found. Nope. Um, ooh, what is it called? Uh, well, I know it's a bash option, I'm pretty sure. So maybe let's go programs bash. Middle completion, interactive shell and prompt init shell aliases. Undistract me. Ah, oh, there's nothing here. Um, hmm. Comment not found. Oh, oh, okay, it is here. Why did I not find it, find it before? Anyway, so uh, programs dot command not found dot enable, and we have a database path. So that's the database that we need to have to give this mapping. And uh, now in, I'm not sure if it's actually set up here, but so the channels, if you use, if you fetch the channels from the actual, so like from channels.nexus.org, there is a database included for binaries at least. And so that's kind of built by default and available by default. Um, and I guess let's just try it out and see what happens if we just enable this option. In my case here, um, I guess so. This is kind of the default one I use, uh, but actually let me do a uh, another one, kind of um, uh, module.nix maybe. This is where we put the kind of nix our specific options in, and so programs dot command not found dot enable is true. And then I'm going to open a new 
terminal here. I wish I knew. Oh, something like that works. But only very briefly. No, I uh, can make it work. At least not with this uh, VM right now. Uh, so I just want to rebuild. I have a small script VM switch, so I don't have to leave the VM every time. And uh, yeah, let's see if this works. And I guess meanwhile, we could we could also inspect the option and kind of see what, well, not this option. Well, we can also inspect this one. But uh, let's open a, oh, actually, let's see. Uh, I believe in recent versions, there's a Nixos rebuild REPL. Um, does not exist here in this version, apparently. Um, but I think I thought that was a thing. Anyways, we don't need that. We can also just do next package is NixOS. Now this would be different in like based uh, systems, but uh, this works here. And let's finish this. Uh, we can so this loads the kind of NixOS, and so we have access to config. This is where the option values are, and all the options. This is where all the options with all their declaration information. Um, so config dot programs. Oh, um, config. Oh, right. Nexus config not found. I have a kind of more pure approach here. So I need to, uh, actually does this work? Does arc work in next REPL? Let's try it out. Uh, although actually I can, so I have this default of next here, which declares the system is actually, I can just do like next REPL on this current directory and then nix system and then I have config here. So it kind of really depends on how you declare your uh, your system. Uh, Programs.commandnotfound.db path. So this is how we can kind of see the default. And so that points to this path, which probably doesn't exist. So if I just check um, stat, I guess. Yeah, it does not exist. So I don't expect this to work. And I am a bit, it's a bit unfortunate that I don't get an error message for this. Um, but so let's try it here. I guess I think I need to reload the shell. Uh, so command not found. Let's see if I start a new terminal here. Let's close the other one. Hello. And yeah, still nothing new. So I believe we need to set this DB path. And so in here, what I use to fetch next pages is actually npins. And npins has, oh, um, well, oh, well, let me let me enter the shell here. I don't have trnf in within the VM. Um, all right, so npins getting fetched, npins help. And uh, if we look at add help, it can fetch from a channel directly. So this is different than when you fetch from the channel branches on GitHub. Uh, so channels, that actually means, and you can see this if we show npins show, it actually fetches from the kind of distribution URL. And uh, npins is nice because it can pin this as well. And so you can, it has a log file and uh, it, it's pure in that way. So sources.json, that's where it is with the hash and stuff. And uh, but yeah, otherwise it's it's just a tarball, but it contains some extra stuff. Uh, we we talked about this in previous next hours as well. Uh, but um, yeah, so what I want to do here uh, is we have a well, maybe let's look into the default.nix. So we get our sources from here, and we get sources.nix packages. That's the path to next packages from the channel. And if we look into the default value for the option uh, for the command not find DP path option, we can see that it points to Nexus. That's a next packages alias. Bit weird, but in essence, it points to the programs.sqlite path from the channel. And so to make that work, we should just have to pass the next pass the next packages path here and then programs.sqlite. So let's try this. I'm gonna go into this would be good to have by default, but let's put it here for now. db path. 
And now we need the path to the next packages. Uh, I'm not sure how I can get it here. So let me just make a placeholder here for now. Let's do light. Okay. And uh, right, how do we get it? Did I somehow put it into special arcs? Oh, I did put sources into special arcs. So we can actually just do sources in here. And then sources.next packages. I'm also going to do a small refactoring here. Like this. All right, now let's do a VM switch and see whether that works. It doesn't. Um, oh, right, we need. Uh, so for the module system, you need the ellipses here, the dot dot dots. Okay, VM switch. Realizing the window is kind of. We might as well full screen this if we are mainly playing in the VM. Uh, all right. Let me also try to figure out how I can switch windows. Yes. All right. Downloading a bunch of things. Although no, just building things. Um, what does it actually do here? Oh, this seems fine. Um, Building system path, cache file. I'm not sure why it needs to do that, but it's hard to get exactly an overview of why things need to get rebuilt. Anyways, it's done. And uh, let's try it out again. And maybe we can also confirm this briefly. Look into Nix Repl again and check the DB path here. It points to an actual path that hopefully exists. And let's just confirm this stat of this. It does exist. And we can even be, we can even try SQLite. Um, what is it? That's the default now. Um, we can even do SQLite 3. I'm just going to look at this, see what the schema looks like. Uh, programs, name system package, uh, select star from programs. And yeah, it contains that. And so I guess in here we have things like, um, I guess this is a binary system. And this is the package that provides it. Yeah, or the attribute path that provides it. So now let's see if it works. Oh, uh, like, uh, let me start a new shell here. And hello. And we get this now. So that's command not found kicking in. Hello is not in your path. It is provided by several packages. Um, yeah, now it gives us this. Uh, probably we'd want hello in this case. But there's also a neat option where it can do this automatically or like more interactively. It's kind of a bit hidden, but it's um, Actually, let's look into Nix packages. I believe I have a version in etc. Um, <laughs> running sway inside the VM for, yep, that that would be an idea. Um, the thing I'm searching for is Nix auto run. Oh, I don't have rip grab. I kind of want to install that by default. I'm actually just edit this. Oh, um. DC Nexus module.nex uh, environment.system packages equals packages dot uh, rip grab. Uh, did I want something else? Um, I, I think that's fine for now. VM switch and oh, package is not defined. Fair enough. Okay, but meanwhile, I think I can. Uh, oh, yeah, I can set Nix auto run manually as well. Oh, I closed the VM. That's not what I wanted. Uh, I can just rerun it though. Um, I will have to rebuild it though. Um, so, uh, actually, all the setup I have here is that all files I write in the VM in etc slash Nixos are stored in my local directory as well. So there's a kind of mirroring going on. So I'll, I still have the module.nix in here and nothing is lost. Um, and yeah, also by rebuilding it now outside of it, we don't need to rebuild again inside of it. 
let's say. It's kind of convenient. Um, all right, rebooting though. And I think this should disappear. It's a bit weird that this comes up. Yeah. All right, um, let's ignore this problem. I wanted to show Nick's auto run. We definitely have new shell here now though. So um, hello, currently it does this. Leaf if we set Nix auto run equals one or true or something like that. Then yeah, it gives us this interactive choice. So we could say, well, I want to run it from hello and then it automatically fetches it and should run it as well. Yes, so that's nice. Um, I believe there's even a way to avoid the interactive one. Oh, well, let's, let's check that. So inside next packages, uh, let's go into uh, the command not found module. And actually now we should have RG, grab, grab, command not found. And we can find it here. Nexus modules programs, command not found, and it's implemented in Perl, but uh, we can kind of find the environment variables fairly easily. Um, oh, so next auto run interactive, that's set. Is it set by default? If env will be run. So actually, what happens if there's only a single program? Like, um, what would be a good example? Uh, let's do fish. Um, okay, there's multiple with fish. Uh, what if we, I mean, we, we have, I kind of don't want to do SQL right now. Um, let's do, oh, L, instead of LS, let's try SL. Ah, oh, there's also multiple. What about foo? Bar? Bar. Bar has one. Um, so what if we do next auto run equals one bar? Does it run it automatically? It does. All right. And I don't know what bar is. Maybe I should check that before I run it. So that's, I guess, a bit of a, um, well, you could run dangerous programs fairly easily with this. But anyway, so this is convenient. I kind of want to set this by default. I'm going to go into here, um, module. And well, I guess we have two options here. We could set environment.session variables. Um, now there's session variables and variables. I never quite get the difference, but I believe one of them requires rebuilding and re relogging, and the other one doesn't. Um, let's just check this session variables. Uh, so this is global variables. This will be set early in the login progress process. So this requires relogging, pretty sure. And then there's environment variables, I believe. Yes. Uh, this we these will be set in shell initialization. So this is what we want. Verbals.mix auto run equals one. Let me set this to a string because I don't trust next to curse that automatically. Well it should really work. Um okay actually we, we could use true here as well I believe because in Nix, if you do two string of true, it turns that into a one. Whereas the false one can mess up some things because it turns into an empty string. That's uh, that's really just to make kind of bash uh, like scripts work easily. Uh, but no, I, I'm I'm going to set it to one directly here. Uh, okay, uh, so that works. Okay, but that's so we haven't used anything any third party project yet. And so the problem here is. What do you do? Well, we haven't really run into a problem. But how would you find what other files packages provide? So this database here is only for binaries, but there's also like libraries is especially a big one. So that's where we could benefit from uh, Nix index. So Nix index is kind of the generalization of the command not found to all files in a package. And this only works because Hydra exports this information. 
It's actually to build, well, to build the database, you need this database from somewhere. You need information about kind of all the packages. That's really expensive, but Hydra exports this information. Um, so it's fairly easy to build an index yourself, but there's also pre-generated databases. Uh, that's a separate product. Um, but uh, yeah, so let's try using all of these and just go through here briefly. So it has, it has two commands. One of them is next locate uh, that uses the database. And the other one is, um, oh yeah, uh, I don't need to install Rayprep now that we have the command not found. Indeed, um, one is next locate uh, and the other one is next index as command somewhere. Um, you can see here, it does kind of the same thing. Uh, well, it's not, oh, here, next index. Yeah, well, no, that's the uh, rest files. Well, anyways, so installation, uh, I'm not using Flex here. Let's get version stable. Well, it's in next packages, so we can probably just use it from there. I'm not gonna use next end though. Um, I believe, or actually there's a Nexus module, isn't there? No. Oh, use as a command not found replacement. Um, oh, so th this is saying, right, turn off command not found. Uh, instead, source this script, which probably creates this command not found um, one. And yeah, so this is for bash. I'm using Z shell. But let's see what it says here. Works for C shell and bash, as far as we know. Um, or you can use this in Home Manager. Uh, I mean, this also works in Nexus, I believe. Right, replace bash with C shell if you use C shell. Um, okay, let's actually, before we do that, let's check if there's a Nexus module, because that would be easiest. I'm going to search on search.nexus.org, next index. And there is, so that's easy. Next index.enable, we have enable C shell integration, that's default true, these are all true by default. And uh, package, yeah, so that's all defaulted. So yeah, we just need this. Um, okay, let's do that. Module, oh, I have it open somewhere else. Um, here. Okay. So, oh, I can copy paste over mm -hmm. VPN. Mix index dot enable equals true. And so then we can turn up this one. And yeah, let's rebuild. So let me make this bigger again. I want to see Oh, did I close the other one? I might have. Anyways, we switch. And let's see what it does. And I don't, well, we can check the module, I guess. See what it actually does underneath. Does it like, how does it populate the database? Does it populate it at all? Um, so let's see here, the options. Config does, oh, it even checks that command not found is not set. So that's good. Um, okay, so this just sources the script from uh, next index, so it doesn't do anything to, to provide the database. So we will have to do that separately. For that, I guess we'll have to read this. Um, oh, programs is mutually, hmm. Why did it fail? I don't enable this here. Um, okay, what does it actually check? Um, assertion config.name. Oh, if this is enabled, then this cannot be enabled. I mean, I don't think command not found is enabled. Let's just check this. So as system.config.programs.commandnotfound.enable. 
Oh, it is enabled. Wait, is it enabled by default, maybe? We can check with um, options dot command found dot enabled dot default. It is enabled by default. Oh, so actually this is like, it would work by default for systems uh, that use channels. Um, okay, so we actually need to explicitly turn it off then. Okay, let's do that. Um, so. Well, we can leave this enabled. False. Let's just add comment using next index instead. Okay, VM switch. And yeah, let's wait that for a bit. Uh, how does it find the database then? Um, if you mean Nix index, I don't think it, well, we will have to look that up. I guess it just uses some other file path. Um, could be in the use, I think it's something like slash dot local share um, Nix index. Uh, if you mean comment not found, uh, that, I mean, yeah, that we, we've seen that. Okay, I expect to see something here, I guess. Uh, we have some things being downloaded. I'm not sure how they relate to... Oh, next index is also going to be built. Is that right? Well, seems to have completed, so I'm not going to complain. And now let's see if it does anything in the new terminal. I think there's also a way, isn't there like reload or something? I'm I'm not sure. Let's just open a new terminal. I, I'm I think there is a way to reload the uh, the initial files. Um so let's check. Hello. Oh okay, and it just gives us an error. So well we can also see home.me, that's oh no, I actually that is actually the username I'm using here. So it uses .cache next index files. Um, kind of weird that it gives us this error and error doesn't even detect that it doesn't exist. Um, so yeah, let's now jump into next index database, see what it does and how we can use it. So provides Nexus modules that add a next index wrapper. Oh, so it's another Nexus module to use the database from this repository. Um, okay, so we could also provide a next or binary that automatically uses that database, I suppose. Um, here, Nexus, so we need to get this database. Um, and in here, Nexus modules, next index. Okay. Um, so let me just look how this actually works. Here's the Nexus module. Uh, Next index with DB. Okay, so this, oh, it also has a wrapper for comma. That's the other one uh, I wanted to talk about. Uh, question in the chat, am I next dev? I'm not a next, uh, some, well, I, I code in next, but I'm not a next dev for next package manager itself. Um, so yeah, it creates these wrappers, programs.nextindex.package. Oh, I see. So I guess that's probably why the package option exists, so that this module can override it. And uh, we also have comma with db, and so that's only if you enable comma, which is disabled by default. Okay. So we really just need to download Nix index database, import that module, and that should work then. So I'm going to, uh, let's, so I want end pins in this shell here. I don't have Nix uh, or dinner and right here. Um, so end pins I wanna add, uh, let's see, GitHub from Nix community, Nix index database. And uh, and pins get up. Oh, 
needs to be like this. No matching release tag. Uh, do I need to provide a branch or release or something like that? Uh, let's see. It has a main branch. It has releases. Oh. Um, yes, actually, I checked this earlier. And apparently the... So these indexes are distributed in the releases. Um, now, I wonder how does this even work if you just fetch it from the repository because that doesn't include releases by default. So let's actually take a closer look here. Nix index wrapper, see what it does. Um, so, okay, it's a shell command. Um, Nix index database comes from here. Okay, I guess this is what it uses. Yep. So where does Nix index database come from? Where did it Nix index database databases comes from here? Um, oh, and I guess this databases. Oh, so that that needs some extra thing to work. That's not a Nixus module that works by itself. Let's look into the flake. What does it do? Databases import packages, and then it passes this as a module.args. Um, kind of weird that this is in the flake when it's not when it's like more generic than that. Oh, I, I guess I guess the flake one imports. No, I'm not sure why this is done like that. Anyways, packages.nix is apparently the databases. Oh, and this just pins it like this. I see, and then every um, in like every week or so. It updates this file with the latest index. I see. So we need a bit extra here. So I guess uh, if you use Flake, uh, the repository is made to be worked uh, to easily work with Flakes. I'm not using that here, so I can do that here. Um, but yes, yeah, so really, we just need the master branch. And let's see what actually npins does by default. I'll pre-releases at tag branch. Uh, maybe we just need to have the main branch here. Yeah, that works. Okay, so whenever I npins update, it would um, up npins update and rebuild. It would use the newer version, uh, which is, I guess that works. It will lag a bit behind because I guess this database here might be a week old and I'm also not sure what uh, what kind of channel it uses. So if you use, I guess, yeah, actually, that's a good question. Does it use the release channel or um, so? Because underneath Hydra, the Hydra index that lists all of these uh, binaries and, and files in each package still has to be used. And that is only distributed via, via channels um, or via Hydra. No, I think it's via channels. So something has to be used underneath some channel. And I guess we could figure that out with by looking at the workflow and seeing what it actually does to update that. And uh, well, this uses index here. Index name, so it does it for all ones. Um, this uses unstable to install or to set the next path during installation. Then this uses, oh, this uses the next package flake reference, which in I think would also be the Nixos unstable channel. Um, so, okay, so this uses Nixos unstable. I guess that makes sense. Uh, but if you use the release, this might like use a, a separate uh, version of, of binaries. Um, okay, so we have Nix index database in here. Now let me go in here. So we have sources.nix index database. Uh, I could do this here. I don't have to do that here though. Let me do it in here. I'm gonna do imports. I'm gonna do sources.nix index database. And I believe we also need the module.args. So I guess let's see what happens without 
this database here. Database. Let's just double check. Nexus module. Yeah, so databases. So I expect this to be necessary. So we'd set sources.nix index database. Um, and then plus slash programs, uh, not pagodist.nix. Was it called? Something like that. Anyways, if we rebuild right now, what happens? VM switch. Pagodist on Nix. Uh, branch does not exist. Oh, I think. I need to actually do out path here, probably. It's a bit weird. Um, no, I that does not work. Oh, I need to actually import the Nexus module. Right, uh, Nexus module, I believe. Need to add parentheses around here. Make it work. Yeah, Nexus module. All right. Let's try this again. I'll do maybe like this. Yeah, this is not ideal. Um, right, now we get the error that we were expecting. Databases doesn't exist. So I will uncomment this and see if that works. Yeah, so we, we saw the flake.next before. Um, string with context while set was expected. Um, that is slightly odd. Can I spot it right here? Module.args.databases. Um, oh, I should import it here. Yes, thank you. Import this one. This is a really terrible error. Um, I wonder where this comes from, actually, a string with context. Well, most code doesn't really do any checking. Right, the code that uh, in Nix index database, the Nixus module, doesn't do any checks to make sure that database is, is actually is actually a um, like attribute set. So let's try this again. EM switch. And no error just yet, so this is looking better. Let me move these a bit to the left. Okay, well, it's taking some time. It's also expected, and uh, it's building stuff. What is build? Nix index with db. Sounds good. And oh, and I guess it's actually, I probably, if I would make a suggestion for here, I saw that it uses built ins to fetch the to fetch these. And that delays the evaluation because it has to fetch them first before it can continue with evaluation. Uh, that only happens the first time. So now it should be faster because it has these already cached. Um, but if you use the uh, like packages.fetch URL, for example, uh, you wouldn't have to do that. But there might be other reasons to to need the uh, eval time fetches there. So really depends. Um, OK, now let's try this out. I rebuilt, uh, I believe. Actually, wait, let's check here. What did we have here? Nix index.enable equals true. All right, and so this one just set the package to a different one. Okay, hello. And it works. So this is Nix index now. Uh, so again, hello.out. I see all right, Nix index is a bit more specific with the outputs. Um, we can run it with next shell. Is there also a way to run it interactively? Let's maybe check this in. Um, well, I guess in this command not found script here. Uh, let's locate 
Is there like an auto? Nix auto install. Oh. That's that's something I haven't heard before. Nix auto run also exists. Um I wonder why didn't we set Nix auto run in here? Yeah, we did set out Nix auto run. Echo Nix auto. Oh. It's not set in this shell though. That's kind of weird. Um we might have to debug that, but I believe mix auto run equals one. If we set this and expect it to also be, oh, it's not interactive in this case. What about bar? That is not interactive. So okay, um, it only. It, it's only interactive if, or it only runs it automatically if it only has a single one. Um, I I could try relogging, yeah. Um, let's, well, relogging shouldn't be necessary though, because we used variables, but we can, we can try. Um, let's quickly do that. Um, save this. Let's see, can I relog here? Um, Log out, log out, and I hope I don't have to type the password because I don't think there is one. And seems to have worked. Okay. What about? Um, oh, I guess I guess it. Well, actually, no. Let's check. <laughs> I thought it might be set already, and we just uh, didn't see it. Oh no. Okay, it works. Mm, that's kind of weird. Uh, I should have tried restarting the shell or or a new shell. But I feel like I've done that enough already. Anyway, so this might be a bit weird because we didn't actually install bar, but it just ran kind of the, a random bar. And uh, this might be a good opportunity to actually check what bar even is um, before I compromise myself here. Meta.description console progress bar. That looks pretty innocent to me. Uh, although, of course, we we can't uh, judge its uh, safety just from that. Um, okay, so so that kind of worked. Uh, there's we also saw the Nix auto install. Let's just check what it does. I would use a Nix env. Um, would this even work for this VM here? Probably not. Yeah, I don't think that would work. So I wouldn't want to set that. Um, and next auto run, I'm also not sure if I'd want to set that, to be honest. Yeah, but judge for yourself. Ah, uh, yeah, so we saw next. Oh, right, next locate. Uh, let's check that out. So, right, we have command not found here, but also next index is not just for is not just for binaries. So if we, for example, I think like lib x x11 or x11.h is a good example. So now we can use nix locate. Let's briefly check the help page. That is a big help page. Is there a main page as well? There is not. Um, so database uh, regex, well, main usage, nix locate, and then a pattern. So we could say, x11.h and it would give us all these results it's a bit much by default there is some options to trim this down so for example there's these in parentheses i'm not sure why they are in parentheses actually i guess this is probably explained in here uh, we can know the precise attribute path for every package so if you see the syntax adder that means the address is not the target package, but that it depends perhaps indirectly on the package that contains the, the searched file. Um, yeah. Okay. So, uh, but yeah, let's hide these. I think there's, yeah, top level is a good one. Um, whole name as well. Base name matches pattern exactly. So bin foo will only match a file called bin foo or xx bin foo, but not 
bin through bar. That also sounds good. And at root, what is at root? Treat pattern as an absolute file path, so it only matches starting from the root of the package. Right, so slash bin slash foo only matches file bin slash foo, but not lib exec, exec bin foo. So next locate, let's do top level. Just do x11.h. Okay, we have these. Can we make the output a bit nicer, perhaps? Uh, minimal. Uh, yeah. I will minimal. Yeah, let's see what happens with minimal. Okay, that's a bit easier to, uh, to see. Although we don't get the actual matches, uh, that might be actually useful. Let's make this a bit smaller, although it might already be too small. Anyway, so we have Haskell packages.x11, but these aren't really the actual matches we want. So I think there's a whole name for this. Now we get a bunch of matches, but actually none of the ones that we want. So maybe not top level. Um, hmm. That is a bit odd. Uh, what if we, let's actually just take a quick look here and see if something about X11 is in the, uh, in the list here. I don't see anything. So that's actually not a good example. What about lib X11? Oh, lots, uh, very much a lot. Uh, let's use lib slash lib X11, make this bigger again. And let's let's maybe do the so we want the top level one. So we don't want things matching in like right like sysroot, for example. We don't care about these. So let's use the top left. Uh, no, that was root or something like that. What was it? Uh, at root. At root. Okay, and we want the full name uh, w I think as well. Well, and lib x11.so. All right, now that's way more manageable. And let's also do top level. And now we only get one match. All right, and that's the one you would probably want to use. But anyways, we have a bunch of options here that we can use to trim down the matches and kind of we, we can refer all kinds of files in here. There's also, there's also regex. And so that's good for, for man pages, for example. So let's say um, we want to find the man page for, uh, I don't know. Um, let's, uh, let's just search for some man page. So if we do regex search, and I believe it's share man uh, man, and then there's a number here, so we would want to say one to nine, maybe just like that. And I think it's not regex by default, so let's turn it on explicitly. Yep. All right, so that finds man pages, and so then let's say we want to find the uh, a simple one, uh, uh, JQ, and so man is this zero or JQ, does this find anything? Yeah, it does. Nice. So, yeah, that would be main page for JQ. Very nice. Um, okay, uh, do we have anything else to show on next index? Let's see. Oh, next. Oh, next index. Oh, wait. <laughs> Oh, so that's actually interesting. Um, the Nix index, uh, what is it called? Nix index database doesn't install Nix index anymore, which I guess makes sense because you only need Nix index to construct the database. Uh, so that's kind of interesting. Uh, but yeah, Nix locate is the one we can use to find packages specifically. Uh, we saw regex. Package, we can search for matches for a specific package. I guess this is the name of the package. Uh, hash, uh, I'm not sure what the use of the hash one is. Top level type. Oh, okay, so we can search for executables, directories, symlinks. Okay, no group. 
we can um well i don't quite want to <laughs> go through that color whole name yeah we saw pretty much everything uh was it running nix locket from the command not found handler then yes i believe so so i guess we can also check type command not found um oh handler and it's underscore and handle yeah uh so yeah that's defined in nix index with db and which nix locate yeah that's i mean that's installed nix index doesn't exist uh but yeah so it's um it's actually nix index finding its own binary here which is kind of uh ironic Anyways, so that's Nix index. Uh, we have a couple more minutes. I do also want to show comma. So, oh, uh, Nix community, community comma. Here it is. So we saw the Nix auto run might be a bit dangerous uh, because it, it, it does it implicitly. So any scripts that you have would also, like if you have any command in there, in there would also run this implicitly. So comma, I believe is kind of a way to improve this uh, basically just stick a comma in front of the command you want to run and it just kind of runs it and uh, yeah let's let's check it out and we actually also saw uh, in Nix index database there was an option to enable this for comma as well yes yeah, so this would be an easy way to install comma uh, so let's do that module and i'm actually going to turn the auto, next auto run off and instead i'm going to do what is it called i can copy paste from here programs dot next index database dot comma dot enable equals true all right let's do a switch Okay, and let's just see if there's any more info here. So really just install comma, use it, pre-built index. I wonder what it does if there is no pre-built index. Um, could we easily find out? What if you just dig into the source index? Oh, okay. Um, Oh, there was an update in the past, apparently. Um, okay, so it just calls Nix locate itself. All right, so it should work if we have that. Um, and well, there's a wrapper around it provided by Nix index database. Uh, okay, uh, I, it might already work in here. We might not need to restart the shell because it's a, a new command. I think those. Right, if we check path, uh, the path doesn't really need to change to add new binaries. So comma, let's use the example there. I'll say hello. See if it works. Oh, and there is, okay, so comma does have an interactive way to select these. So I picked one and we have cow say hello. That's also, can we pipe? I guess we should be able to pipe comma and um, uh, what was it called? Uh, it was some command to make a a colorful uh, neo neocat, I believe. Is it neocat? I'm not sure now. No, it's not. Well, anyways, um, so that that works. Um, yeah, actually, let's just double check how say hello. What happens if we use Nix index? Yeah, it doesn't have anything interactive. So it's a bit slightly inconsistent. I mean, all of these, it's three different ways that we saw now. Uh, I mean, bad. Ah, I was thinking of something like very rainbow and colorful. Um, <laughs> well, I, I don't want to try to find it. Uh, but yeah, there's a bad, a nice cat replacement. I wonder what it does if we do that. That. 
You do not always need to select it here. Might be interesting to have a way to not have to do that. Okay, bad prints a nice STDN thing around it. What about um, F set F? Well, I guess this would allow us to select a specific line from the input, which um, doesn't really make sense for something typed from Kause. So we have F set F. What is it waiting for here? Oh, it's a bit broken because F set F has an interactive way to select then Kause as well. Oh, lolcat. Yes, that one. Nice. And yeah, that makes it colorful. Very nice. Okay. Let's see. Did we miss anything here? Otherwise, we are we are very well on time. Maybe let's just review this briefly. Um, we can go in here. Module. So maybe let's make this a bit more historical. We saw mana found. Um, we set the DB path. This works if you fetch next packages from the channel. Um, we could also theoretically do something like this that then doesn't depend on where you get next packages from. Like we could do fetch tarball and say fetch it from channel next packages unstable. And this then means you, you will get the ones from next packages unstable. That's also what Nix index does or Nix index database. I guess we haven't built the database ourselves. Could try that. Um, but fetch tarball this and then that should contain programs.sqlib. Uh, so that could work. Uh, we actually don't need any parentheses here. The function application here has higher precedence than the plus. So this works, even though it looks a bit weird because we have like a string concatenation here. I could overwrite databases with, oh yeah, I could do that. Yeah, so we could, um, well, could we easily fetch the databases ourselves? Let's just check what next index database does. It fetches them from GitHub releases. I does npins have a way to fetch from GitHub releases? I thought we saw something there. Um, at GitHub help. Oh, and actually, this is kind of really slow now. Is it because I? Oh, I guess I don't have end pins in this shell. So actually, that's really nice. It ran it automatically for us. Although, although it, um, right, we might want, it's implicit in this way, which might not be super appreciated. Um, but yeah, there is a pre-release. Oh, so this, I guess, tracks releases by default. So, or does it? Hmm. Specific commit instead of latest. Um, yeah, so it tracks releases by default, but I believe we tried that. So git uh, or npins at GitHub next community next index databases database. If we do that, I thought it failed. Oh, we're yeah. Um, repository has no matching release tags, so let's see. Latest, oh, I guess it uses the latest uh, ta uh, tag release something. Um, source next package programs. Oh, the, oh, we, we can't do that. Um, so where's the, well, here's the file. Uh, we, so this is a, the next index databases basis and the, uh, the, the channel database here, that's separate databases. Uh, they have different formats and rest of programs. SQLite only supports, uh, binaries, whereas the next index one supports 
arbitrary uh, files and packages. Um, but yeah, figuring out what NPIN, NPINs really does and how we can use the releases there, I guess that's future work for now. Yes, yeah, so there are releases, so I'm not sure why it fails. Anyways, um, I think we are just on time. So thanks for joining and I'll, I'll push this code into the next hour repository. Feel free to also suggest issues for other topics to cover. And uh, yeah, hope, hope that helped and see you around.